Hi everyone, this is Disabled Fly Baby back with another Bible Life Minutes. Okay, so today our prayer jar had the wisdom and the testimony. Okay, so that's where we're going to kind of work on what we find in the prayer jar for, for, for a while. Alright, it tends to give us something to... It's last minute things because I do the prayer jar and then I kind of come up with the things, okay? But I've had a lot of kid demands meeting here and there and there and there. I don't see them often, but once in a while, I end up helping. So, um, anyway, the wisdom was the first thing. Okay, so the way that I know of to get wisdom is to ask God. Okay, ask God to put the wisdom in our brains. The words on our tongues, the wisdom in our brains, and the love in our hearts. Okay? Okay, so, my testimony is really hard. It's like being sexually abused, physically abused, mentally abused, and then got married and got even and lived a very, very bad, hateful life. And I got mean and nasty to so many people. And I would not want to go back there for anything. And I was a little Christian girl. I loved Jesus, but I didn't get to go to church. We, the family was... I know the dad was atheist. He would say that there is no God, but the rest of them I never heard, one way or the other. So, but let's go ahead with the ABCs. Okay, the ABCs is to admit to God that you're a sinner. So the way you turn away from all this, I know there's so many other people that have these things that are wrapped up in these bad situations. And the way to get away from it is, this is one way, but then you still can do a few other things. But for a starter, it's ABCs. Admit to God you're a sinner. B is to believe in Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. And C is to confess him out loud. All right, let's go ahead with the prayer. Lord, our Heavenly Father, we are sinners. And I want to repent for my sins. I want to, I believe in Jesus Christ as my Savior and Lord. And I confess him out loud. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Okay, if you said that prayer, then go on and get get somebody that goes to church. Grab a hold. You don't have anybody, it's okay. There's lots of churches on every corner. They're very shy of people because so many people have come away from the church. Um, they, they either can baptize you there or they can take you to the river. The river ones look cool, but um, I got baptized in the church. All right? <coughs> so... If you like these videos, go ahead and give it a check mark. If you um, comment, I'll talk. I'll try to talk back with you. If you subscribe, that would be wonderful. And if you share them, that'd be great. Okay, so let's do a fast closing prayer. Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you for getting us here another day. I didn't think I was going to even have any daylight left for this one. Thank you, Lord. Please lead us and guide us in your direction and your way. Everything seems to be so jumbled that it's going to get better. Thank you. Continue to put our, your words on our tongues, your wisdom in our brains, and your love in our hearts. In Jesus Christ's name, thank you, Lord. Amen. Bye for now. God bless you. Bye.